Hello and welcome to this new video in the Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we will learn a new activity named as script. Let us get started. So let us first understand uh, the script activity and then we'll come to the scenario how we use this. This activity was introduced recently in both Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse. So firstly, I'll search for script, add this, go to settings, now you can use the script activity only with SQL databases like SQL Server database, Azure SQL database, Azure uh, Synapse and Oracle, such kind of things. So the first thing it will ask you is to create a link service. We already have a link service to SQL database. Remember this cannot be used against data lake. Then you have to write a query. Now the script activity gives you or enables you to perform scripts to write scripts which are either DDL or DML. DML means select, insert, update, delete and DDL would mean create, alter and drop statements. So this was not there earlier with the addition of this activity it has opened up many possibilities and uh, which I will try to cover in different videos. In this video I just want to introduce this activity by taking one some example and the example that we are going to take is in the data lake there is a file called employees.csv. Let us say I want to copy this data to SQL database and the table name should be employees. Now we have done this activity earlier. However, in that activity what we did is we have done this in two ways. Either I can auto create the table when I execute this in the copy activity. But if I run that pipeline again, it will give me error because the employees table will be created only once and you cannot create it again unless you drop it. The another thing is you can already prehand manually create the table by writing a script as we have done that already also in one of our earlier videos and then execute the pipeline for an existing table. But here's where the catch is. So you're going to create that table manually. I don't want to do that manually. I want that thing to be handled in the pipeline itself. So here's where script activity can be helpful. Let us first see only a simple create table statement. How will you execute over here? So here I will say create table the table name, I'll prefix the schema dbo dot employees id integer comma let me expand this then emp name as where care of 20 comma then I think we have city where care of 20 and then salary as money that's it if I click on debug, this should create a table. Now this has executed successfully. And if I go to the editor, select star from employees, currently this table will be empty. There you have it, four columns. Now, what will happen if I run this pipeline again? This is the most interesting thing now. Here we will learn many more things about on the SQL side. Let's run this. Now this will fail. Let's click on the error. It is saying there is already an object name employees. Now what I want to do is I want to find a way. In case if the table is not there, it should create it. In case it is there, it should not give me an error. This activity should just pass successfully so that the next copy activity that we are going to use, this should run fine. So now we have to understand how can we confirm or check if the table name dbo.employees exists already or not. For this I will come to the SQL editor. Here we have an inbuilt table called sys.objects. Let us query this. Select star from sys.objects. So this will have some 139 rows or whatever. What it gives you is this table is nothing but it will store all the object names. So there will also be our table over here. So this is the name column. Let me query and refine this. Let's say name is equal to employees. Run this. Rather where name is equal to employees. Show only editor, show only result. So there are two tables uh, and definitely there is schema difference. The first, the schema ID one is the DBO that we are interested in. So every table has its object ID and there will be type, type is nothing but 
user table as you can see in the description you will also have the date when it was created so this is a good information that you should be knowing so what you will do is we cannot go with the name why because in, there are two different schemas one is dbo schema and other, there is another schema which i created purposely so instead we'll go with the object id now how can you refine this is you can just say give me the name of that this object where the name is dbo.employees if i run this here you will get nothing because i prefix dbo but dbo was the schema name was not there in the name if you had noticed i'll remove this again and show you you see there is no schema name so how can i come to know so the, here's where the object id column will be helpful for us so what we'll do is i'll say this way where object id is equal to there is an inbuilt function called as object id what it does is it takes the table name with the schema and returns you the object name so that's what we want now if i run i'll get only one record over here have a look over here and if you check the schema of this let me put the star over here the schema id is one which is belonging to dbo that's what i wanted and just for safety we'll put and type is equal to u which means it's a user defined table that user has created so this way now what i'll do is i'll put a condition over here if not exists now what is the exist keyword if the inner query returns any record it will return true else it returns false so what i want is if the inner query returns a record it means the table is already existing so i am going to do the opposite by putting a not keyword only when the record doesn't exist and then i want to create this table so i'll copy this paste this over here and run so now you will not get an error but if i only run the create table statement i'll get an error stating that it is already an object called employees so i'll copy this now paste it here and now if i execute this this will not fail it will safely bypass this is what we wanted now this is just one example of script activity we will do many more things in the future which uh, can give us the benefit of using either dml or ddl statements as i said so now you see you are not getting error this is what we wanted and now we are set to use copy data from here so just an illustration and then we'll go to source select let's quickly create new data set point this to gen2 delimited file let us call it as ds script source link service will be data lake connection let's browse to the employees.csv file here we have it okay first row as header fine then we'll go to sync sync we will select ds sorry sql scroll down select this one let us call as ds script sync sync means destination select or create the link service for sql database so when you run for the first time you'll not have a table so what you can do is just click on edit say dbo.employees if you already have a table then you can just select one from here so either any ways which you want that's it now if i run so now the script will activity will not fail because we have that safeguard of if not exists and that is the way how we check if the table exists or not in sql server or sql database so now let's see why copy activity has failed the column name is not found in target site so let us go to copy data when this happens this could be due to the column names being mismatched so go to mapping and let's say import schemas from the source side and destination side it should show us the schema and it should tell us where the problem is so there we go on the source side we had name but on the destination side we mentioned as emp name so we'll manually do this in mapping this is also a good thing
to be known. Now let us run. Let's wait until this completes. It's executing now. That's done. So let's have a look over here. Two things. You can see eight rows are written. And if I go to the table, let us just say select star from dbo dot employees, run this and have a look eight rows over here. So more, of, more than the copy, we were interested in the script. So here now we have a safeguard that even if the table is there, you will not face error. So you want to check this thing manually. Uh, we did this thing manually, but now we are leaving it to the pipeline through the script activity. And remember, in script activity, you can use any DML or DDL statements like select, insert, create, update, uh, delete and drop. So that's it for now. But definitely there is more uh, examples which will be coming in the script activity in the future. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.